Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. It's been a busy couple of days. Five mining fiestas in the span of a week is kind of insane. We made over a billion coins. If you guys haven't seen that, go check yesterday's video. Kind of insane. We're actually rich now. And so I thought today we'd kind of just chill out by doing some Skyblock XP related stuff uh, from kind of all over the server as well as hitting up the garden and realizing I'm actually really close to an upgrade in there. So we're going to be doing that as well. But if you guys are new here, don't forget to use code Zach when checking on the Hypixel store. Save yourself 5%. And subscribe and leave a like if you guys are enjoying these videos and you want to see more of them but without further ado let's jump right into this one there are a lot of minions that i basically just have down to try and max them out like i have these minions down so that i can basically get them to tier 11 or tier 12 respectively and i can place down other minions that also need to be upgraded for example this rabbit minion will be down forever this creeper minion i'm working on at the moment too i've had this cow minion down for what feels like ever and today i finally went to go check it and it had eight stacks of enchanted leather or now i have eight stacks of enchanted leather so what we're going to go ahead and do uh for anyone who doesn't know that is enough to upgrade this thing to tier 12 i'll leave it down for a little bit afterwards just because i want to get every backpack i have uh to a jumbo uh, a lot of these are greater or jumbo already so most of them are upgraded but as we get down to the second row here here's one that needs to be upgraded uh wait are these two graders Okay, I literally just need to upgrade these to jumbos. Jumbo, jumbo. Wait, I might not even need leather for this. Okay, I'll have to go through and check afterwards. But if I don't need any more leather, that's amazing. I can retire this minion uh, temporarily. But let's go ahead and warp trapper. I do want to upgrade this thing to tier 12. That's the main reason why I've had it down for so long. Uh, this morning, I went ahead and got 150 pelts, just like having extra, because I kind of want to do my cactus minion really soon, too. Uh, this thing just needs to be upgraded, so... We might do that later today as well, but we have our cow minion here, 512 enchanted leather, cow minion tier 11 and 75 pelts. So let's go ahead and grab out our enchanted leather. As you can see, 515, literally just a few over. So pretty exciting stuff. And let's go and do it. Boom. Why was there no confirmation? I have shop confirmations on. Man, it just went ahead. It was like, here you go. I'll take it though. Uh, 24 skyblock XP for, we got for that as well, which is obviously the main thing I care about, but also, now this minion's just a beast, so really happy about that. Feels nice to always max out a minion, and uh, the cow one's definitely a tricky one on Iron Man, so happy to have it done. A little bit of a Skyblock XP thing I've kind of been working on for the last little bit. Basically, just went around to every gemstone in the game besides Jasper and Opal, and mined a Flawless Worth, because I still need the Geo Abbey Phone Contact, so uh, I want to get it. So basically, I should have all the Amethyst now, and I just put it into my sack. Let's go ahead and cookie click this. This shouldn't take too long whatsoever. It's about 500,000 gemstones worth uh, per flawless. So basically we need like 3 million gemstone worth, which if I were to sell it would be 9 million coins. It's really not the end of the world. It's not too bad. There we go. We have all six ruby, amber, topaz, jade, sapphire, and amethyst. So we're going to go ahead and warp mines. I wonder if I need an abbey phone contact trio. We're going to find out really quickly if I have another slot in my abbey phone or not. Let's go ahead and talk to Geo. Uh, sure, I can give you my contact, but first play a little game. All right, I'm here to play the game. Uh, basically, we need to give it in the color of the rainbow. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Flawless, that's it. Yes, it is. All gemstones of the rainbow. Beautiful. Plus 10 Skyblock XP. We now have Geo's contact as well. We are truly getting there in terms of contacts we have. Uh, I think, so I have 37 out of 45. So now I actually need another contact trio. We, we've maxed out how many I have right now. The ones we don't have added are a bunch of the mage quest lines. There are literally three of them that are just within the mage faction quest, which uh, honestly I might swap over and do relatively soon. Four that are just in mage that I can't do right now, which would be super, super nice. There's another one here for reaching match, max mage rep. Uh, then we have Ophelia that we're going to get to probably when we do M7. Kudra Gatekeeper, once we do Kudra, it's not hard either. And then Trinity is actually RNG from dungeons. So we're getting really close to having all the Abbey phone contacts. Really happy about that. Um, and yeah, another 10 Skyblock XP. So as I was saying earlier, did end up hopping back into the Cactus Farm. I actually cleared off two of the three plots I had unlocked that uh, I basically just hadn't built on yet. I probably should have dug out the third one, but you know what? I didn't think this would take long, and it didn't. I just had to run through the farm a couple of times. Broke some connecting blocks so I could just run across pretty smoothly. And after farming cactus for a little while, I now have 32 enchanted cactus, which is exactly what we need to max out this cactus minion once and for all. We're finally going to be done with this guy. So 
Where is my cactus minion? Uh, here it is. Okay, perfect. I couldn't remember where I put it. Let's go ahead and warp over to the trapper. Uh, it's finally time to finish this off. This is the last crop minion that we have left. We've finished cocoa bean, pumpkin, mushroom, wheat, uh, sugar cane, melon, netherwort, carrot, potato. We still have to finish sheep, rabbit, pig, and uh, yeah, those are the only other three. We finished cow earlier today. I'm done with chicken. So yeah, we only have four more minions from here, and it's about to be three. So it's a good thing I did grind those 75 pelts earlier today. And let's go ahead and do it. Oh, now there's a confirmation. Okay, boom. There we go. 24 Skyblock XP for completing that. That is beautiful. You love to see it. And now a tier 12 cactus minion that I will never place down. Never using a crop minion. So uh, it's kind of funny how that works, but happy to have it completed. It's always nice to complete another tier 12 minion. It's also just a juicy amount of XP, and we're like halfway to level 296 now. Naturally, after doing five mining fiestas in the last week, I decided the first thing I should do after finally being done with these fiestas and my billion coin journey is mine some more. Yep, that, that's right. I sat here for a couple hours this morning mining some glowstone. It's quick. It's a lot faster than it used to be. It's still not the fastest thing in the world for any Iron Man players who uh, find themselves here at the glowstone wall however i do have a large amount of enchanted glowstone uh to the amount of 16 enchanted glowstone blocks if my math is all correct um so yeah let's go ahead and craft these up you might be wondering why honestly i am wondering why too why i do these things but it is for a uh, a reasonable thing it's for a minion upgrade unfortunately not tier 12 yet this is gonna be for the tier 11 upgrade i need 6,000 more enchanted glowstone dust for the tier 12 upgrade, so uh, that will have to wait a little bit. But if we go ahead into our mining ender chest here, I have a glowstone minion tier 10. Oh, I forgot that enchant blocks all also go back into sacks. Let's go ahead and grab those out. Beautiful. Yeah, these things took a minute to get, I'm going to be honest. Um, but there we go. A tier 11 glowstone minion, which is always great. We love our skyblock XP, and that's exactly what we're getting. Boom. Plus 12 skyblock XP. Don't mind if I do. This thing is now tier 11. One more tier to go. A very tedious tier, but we'll get there eventually. I might just chip away at the glowstone whenever I kind of feel like it here in the Crimson Isle. I need 32 enchanted glowstone blocks, so I literally need to do double what I did today, and uh, I'm not excited for that, but hey, one step at a time. So from the ridiculous amount of mining we did during Mare Jerry and Mare Cole, buy limits should now be reset so I can actually sell the last of the ruby I have saved up, which is pretty exciting. I'm pretty proud of how much we mined and no Dillo mining to be seen here. So yeah, all through ruby, which I know is a ton slower, but I, I just really don't like the idea behind Dillo mining and hopefully it's patched soon that's that's the plan but uh yeah let's go ahead and sell this are we going to be at 1.1 bill or i think we're going to be a little short yeah we're a little short okay geez 1 billion 96.9 million coins so yeah we're like 3.1 mil away from 1.1 bill uh we also have um oh interest actually just came out i should have put more in so it would have been 500k that's a little unfortunate but yeah there's 36 mil sitting in here that belongs to the twins uh the problem with that is um, I can't put those coins anywhere, so it basically just counts towards the one bill for now, I guess. Uh, so I just need to make sure I don't ever go below 36 million coins in my purse. That's the plan, at least. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and take out a mill. Let's go ahead and do that. Withdraw a million. There we go. Just so there's room for interest and stuff. And it's basically the same amount of damage. But, uh, yeah. Basically, 36 million coins that I have on me are not mine. Or, I guess, I have 36 mil less in the co-op bank i don't know either way 36 million out of the 1.13 bill isn't mine just just for full transparency i'm back on the garden a little bit i'm not too happy about it yet i still have to refigure out what i'm doing with these farms eventually i've kind of just been taking a break from the garden after they disabled teleport pads my mushroom farm is like basically unusable now with these things so yeah, I need to pick up all the teleport pads, and I need to basically redesign everything again, or basically just visit Melo King and see what he's been cooking up. But I basically just want to keep my composter going, so I hopped in here to basically farm some wheat, so I can stock up on some enchanted seeds. 5.3k enchanted seeds should last me a little bit, so that's super nice. Take out a little bit more compost. I think I'm actually pretty close to unlocking my next plot, which is always a nice thing. Uh, yeah, I need about 40 more enchanted or 40 more compost and I can actually do that. So yeah, working my way to getting all the plots slowly but surely. I had my composter turned off for way too long after they made the changes just because I didn't really want to go farming. But something that did come positively from this 
I also just competed in a wheat contest because I need so many Jacob tickets on this profile. It's kind of disgusting. Uh, but we should have enough to go ahead and craft another Turbo Wheat 4 book. Can't believe I didn't have this before. But Turbo Wheat 5, finally. Uh, I don't know why I didn't have this. Uh, I finally do. I guess it is 16 contests of whatever crop. So, yeah, that was my 16th wheat contest I've competed in, which is always super nice. Um, but, yeah, I still need delicate and – or, sorry, I still need dedication, actually, on this thing. I didn't even realize I didn't have that, so I'll have to save up a little bit more of the coppers um, so I can actually get this. I need, like, a 1,000 copper for that. So, yeah, that will come because wheat's probably, like, the one I go back to most consistently, mainly just because I use enchanted seeds to fill up my composter and, uh, yeah. It's always a good time, but uh, yeah, a little bit of garden progress, yay! So I thought I was just gonna leave the garden after having enough stuff to fill up my composter. I had a couple of visitors come by, of the legendary variants being Jerry and Clerk Seraphine that I wanted to take care of. They gave some good garden XP, like 150 from the two legendary ones, a little bit from uh, Tammy here as well. And the reason why I'm still on the garden as we speak is because I'm, I didn't realize how close I was to garden level 14. I really haven't played garden in so long and uh, I do eventually want to get to Garden 15. I really do. I wouldn't mind eventually getting a Spaceman. Those are like the main things I, I guess you could say I kind of care about on here. And so, yeah, I've been looking through my crop milestones. And it looks like we're about to go farm some carrots because I really want to, I don't know. I think getting Garden 14 today would be super nice. Not only do I get 10 Skyblock XP, but then my crops grow 10% faster as well, which is kind of nice. So looks like we're going to be putting away the sugarcane hoe grabbing out the carrot one and the also other reason why i wouldn't mind actually farming some carrots as i'm speaking is because we go and right click i need four stacks of enchanted golden carrots to upgrade this thing to a tier three and they added all the tier three and every type of farming tool to the museum so i actually want to get those now which is uh great i wanted to get them before but for different reasons like mainly because they just help with farming a ton uh, but now there's like an actual reason I get literal skyblock XP for doing it And this is way too fast for carrot and I don't have it in my sack uh, or in my uh, Compactor I'm not making carrot candy. No, thank you. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Farm myself up some carrots. Not sure how long I'll be doing this I, I want to hit the next milestone it says it'll take me does that say 54 minutes? There's no way surely it's faster than that, right? Hopefully we can do it a little bit faster than that. That would be uh, greatly appreciated, but yeah, I really want to get Garden 14, so time to get it done. And as soon as I started, that timer went down from like 54 minutes now to 37-ish, 36. It's kind of like readjusting a little bit. So yeah, either way, I think I have about half an hour of farming carrots to do. So yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Well, after about 35 minutes of farming, uh, any second now, five seconds to be exact, three, two, one, and boom. There we go. Carrot milestone number 25. That gives us a whopping 250 garden XP. So let's go ahead and warp over to the garden. Uh, how close are we? I know I have some visitors here who actually want some carrots as well. So it kind of works out. 44 away. Okay, wow. That is actually, we're so close. Um, so let's see what we got here. 7 enchanted golden carrots. Uh, 17 enchanted golden carrots. 5 enchanted golden carrots. And 10, which I need 39 enchanted golden carrots to go serve all these guys. So let me see if I can actually craft that up. Okay, I definitely had a decent amount to craft up. How many enchanted golden carrots do we actually make? Uh, 105, nearly two stacks from that, which is actually really good, not gonna lie. Uh, we're gonna go ahead though and just do every visitor offer. So there's the first, here's the second, and there we go. Garden 14, that puts us up right away. 10 skyblock XP, we have one more garden level to go until we are uh, officially garden 15. Uh, obviously this is gonna be the hardest level to do though. That's kind of how things work in this game. It's the same amount of uh, Garden XP as I've been getting or needing for the last couple levels, except for it gets harder and harder because I've already done a bunch previously. So a little unfortunate, but yeah, one more level to go. Uh, we need about 10,000 more XP, but yeah, 10 Skyblock XP for that, which you always love to see. I'm actually really close to leveling up here, which is always fun. And uh, yeah, there we go. Really happy about that. Garden 14 completed. In return for Garden 14, actually, one of the big things that we get is Tier 8 crop upgrades. Now, these things get pretty pricey. I have all the Tier 7 ones unlocked. Tier 8 crop upgrades are 5,000 copper a piece. A piece, which is kind of insane. Um, Yeah, so I guess I just start... I don't have enough copper even for one right now. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cost me about... What is that? 25,000? Wait, no, five times 10. Is that 50,000 copper uh, at this level already? And that's going to be 100,000 copper for the tier above. So I need 150,000 copper to max out 
crop upgrades, which is kind of gross. Um, it's something I will be doing. I'll be saving my copper towards that, and we kind of just go for whatever crop I think I'm farming the most of. Probably going to do wheat first. Why not, right? Um, but yeah, there's, I mean, there's so much copper we need for that. So I guess that's our next goal for our copper. Um, yeah, won't be spending anything else on anything for a long while, honestly, until we're done crop upgrades. Like, I can't imagine that probably by the time I finish all these, we'll be Garden 15. And then we'll go straight into the Tier, the tier 9 ones, which are 10,000 copper a pop, so... Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. So sadly, that is unfortunately going to do it for today's video. Today was kind of on the chiller side, some various Skyblock XP stuff, Garden Level 14, kind of enjoying a full night of sleep after Mayor Jerry. I literally slept for like 14 hours. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I have some fun grinds coming up from Nucleus runs to trying to get Gold Tier Trophy Hunter, going into Mayor Aatrox, where I plan on going for Sven 9. We have a lot of big grinds coming up, as well as finally digging back into dungeons now that Mayor Jerry's over, and we have a ridiculous amount of coins. So it should be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode of the Iron Man Profile. If you guys did, don't forget to go and leave a like and subscribe channel if you guys aren't new around here. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care, and peace out.